Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, as you can see, we got our Light Lance here repairing. Uh, we took a little bit of damage last time, but we were up against some pretty heavy um, targets. So, um, the Urban Mech we're going to have to refit when we get back, and there's some damage in the other mechs we're going to have to adjust when, when these guys come back. But today what we want to do is we want to use our Primary Lance. I'm not going to call them the Medium Lance because they've got a couple Light Mechs, but the Primary Lance we're going to use today. And what I want to do, um, we're going to go to Contracts, and I think we're going to take a two skull mission down here. We're going to take mopping up. And I want to do it because I want to get some cash in influx because we've got enough for the end of the month. But I also want a bit of cash to be able to work on the light lance to be able to update it and things like that. So that's why I think I want to choose this one. Plus we're we're looking good for mech parts now. So there's three medium mechs that we need two mech parts of. We need a couple of indicator parts, a couple of wolverine parts, a couple of hunchback parts, and we'll have a full mech out of those guys. But in the heavy zone which is awesome, is we only need one more catapult piece now. And we've got a catapult 1A, which would be awesome. And then we need two pieces of a rifleman. And we'll have a rifleman. So those are the kind of mechs that we're looking for today. Hopefully we'll find one of those guys in this mission, but we'll see. So we're going to accept this. 248,000 is not bad. Uh, so we're going to pull our lance mates out here. And we're going to put our main mechs back in. So Centurion and this guy and then this guy and we're going to put our group back in so let's get Pylon then Hickory and then Recoil. So there's our main lance back up and running. Let's get this guys in, these guys into battle and uh, get this mission done. Alright here we are. I haven't played on this map in quite a while, but it's the perfect spot for an ambush. Uh, let's reserve. Sorry, pilot. I know I know you're still shell shocked, but I need you back in battle, buddy. Let's get up here. So I don't know if we're gonna have reinforcements on us this time. Yep. We may not. There's been several times that I've played on this map, and there hasn't been reinforcements. So. Understood. Moving fast. Let me get lucky. We'll see what happens. Uh, just an update too. So Hickory, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last episode or not, but Hickory, um, you know how we had the two um, MRM 10s in the one arm? Well, I managed to find in the store another arm mount for missiles. So now, um, we'll have a look at her in a second. So now she's got um, the MRM 10 in each arm with a upper missile mount. So we were able to split those up. So now I'm not worried about losing just, if we lose an arm, we lose an arm. But uh, this way it's um, it's better than just losing the whole arm and losing both MRMs at the same time. So that's kind of cool. So that's, she's a little bit back to the way that mech should be running. I don't think we're gonna yeah, have man. reinforcements here. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. Roger, full speed. Okay, looks like we're up against three guys. Ooh, medium, a heavy, and an assault. This looks good. What's up, Commander? Now they're supposed to be damaged. Let's get ourselves into position here. Yeah. Hickory, let's get you back here. Acknowledge. Want to be direct fire on these guys if I can be. And cold metal. I'm trying to get everybody into the trees here. I'm gonna go right here. I think it's gonna give me a better chance to sprint out in the open if I need to. Okay, Let's see what they do here. Oh, cataphract. Okay, that's not good. That's a lot of evasion. That cataphract too. So the other thing too in the uh, assault mechs. Wow, look at this guy. Ultra AC10. That's a nice piece of material. If we can get that, where is that located? The rocket launcher, probably in the arm here? No, that's where all the lasers are. Okay, so it's in the left arm. We want that. So if we can burrow through the right side of this guy, I'll be happy. Uh, let's reserve. So the Ultra AC-10 would be nice on the uh, hunchback. 
or not the hunchback, sorry. If we get a hunchback, it would be great. But it would be nice on, um, if we can f squeak it into the, uh, what do you call it, um, urban mech. Double time. Let's go. All right, buddy, you're going to be shell-shocked. Ah, that wasn't what I was hoping for. A Victor. Victor. 9S. AC, oh, another AC-20. These guys out the field, these AC-20s. And your standard blackjack. So we're going to fire on this guy, I think. A uh, little better chance to hit on these guys. Um, let's start on the Victor. Yeah, let's just fire on him. Wow, that was really bad. Um, these guys are going to get a chance to shoot us, so... Wow, it's really bad on this guy. Oh, it's indirect, that's why. Alright, let's move into here. And we'll shoot on the victor. We'll fire everything. Alright, light peppering. Hickory, uh, I think I want you guys over here flanking. The flea is like a bad choice to get in close with these guys, I think. Um, we're just going to use it for taking advantage of openings, I think. And Hickory will stay back here because, once again, the AC-20 on her would be a very bad day. Let's fire everything on this guy. Alright, we're just peppering him up a little bit here. And let's get you back here for now. Mmm, it's a melee already, eh? That much evasion. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to be doing much there, buddy. Okay. Two misses. We have good opportunity to take that side now. This Victor's got some speed too, eh? Man. we got to find someone to replace Pylon. Just so we can get some sanity back. I'm so <laughs> He's like, this has got to stop. I can't keep doing this. Yep. All right, let's move over here. Confirmed. Um, that's really low chances on this guy. Let's go after this Victor. Okay. Um, we can burn this arm off. Two medium lasers. There's not much there. The AC-20 is in this arm. Yeah, the figures. Um, what's this blackjack doing? Did it just reserve? Ready for oh, wait, no. Duh, it's just... <laughs> we just started our turn. Um, time to pay attention. Okay, let's move into here. I know it kind of goes against what I said I was going to do, but... We might as well apply some damage from range at this point. Uh, it's a little better on this guy, so let's just fire on the victor. Okay, now they're going to go. That could have potentially been bad, but not too bad. Ace pilot, eh? Wow, look at... Pylon's got to be dropping a load right about now. Um, let's walk it up here. Let's blast this Victor. Okay, he's completely unsteady. Pylon. Um, that's pretty good chances to hit. Let's move into here. Let's get between them and us. Let's fire on the side of this guy. We've got good chances to hit. Oh, nice leg hits, buddy. Alright, let's see what he does. He's got the Ultra 10. 28, so I hit with the medium. Structure exposed. Must have hit with the AC, too. Oh, head hit. <gasps> no. 
I really hope that wasn't the laser hit to the head. No, it couldn't have opened his... Find out here in a second. I think he's trying to strip evasion, but it doesn't work in this game. Oh my god. It was an AC hit to the head. He's got to run. Damn, that changes a lot of things. A lot of things. What do you need? Uh. Moving to position. See if we can knock this guy down. Okay, that's the right side to hit. Okay, he's going down. Okay, recoil. Yeah. What can I do you for? I need you to get over here, please, and I need you to push this uh, blackjack back a turn. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Because I need to get uh, pylon out of there. Let's just try for a head plink. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to hit, but... Yeah, I missed. yeah, you did. Good to go. You need to get the hell out of there, buddy. Can we get down in here to see this guy? I know I'm running a risk staying in this range. Going full throttle. But I'm gonna piss that uh, cataphract off of my um, centurion here in a second. I wanna try and take this guy out if we can. Oh, do I try and save some of them? That's the question. We don't really have enough to kill that center torso. So let's just fire on the side torso. Okay. That hit something good. Oh, he bailed out! <gasps> no, really? Oh my god, that's awesome. I didn't think that guy would bail out after that. It wasn't really enough of a hit to bail out. Okay, we're going to piss this guy off. Let's just shoot him in the side. I'm giving him a target to go after is what I'm doing. And he's going to take the bait. Good. I mean, that's not good. But it's good that he took the bait. That's what this blackjack does. Yeah. Screw you, buddy. Okay, shooting at the right target. Where's he going now? Moving forward, eh? He's overheating too. Alright, it's a good thing we're on against mechs that can overheat really quick, really, really easily. I was gonna say really quickly, but it's really easily more so. So, this guy still got a ton of armor on this side. Um question is now though it's time to create some more distractions here so let's go after this guy don't want him firing at pylon oh nice hits okay prometheus flame that's good yeah that's good can't get on the side of this guy unless we get over here which is too close i think uh, so let's just move it back here. Let's move. And we'll shoot into this guy's rear. Copy that. He's got really good evasion. Yep, it's okay. Okay, so the question is now, we're going to go this route. I know it might be a bad idea. I'm, just, I'm worried about Pylon's head hit right now, so I think pulling these, down, these guys down as fast as we possibly can is probably the best idea. A medium laser hit, that's good. Uh, 
Ugh, you still got a lot. Um. Yes, Commander. Huh. Do I run the risk? Something like this? It's lots of evasion. Fire into this guy's back. Okay, there goes the Oh, got him. Nice. Okay, cataphract. And then we all go. Good thing there's only three guys here. This is gonna go out to the Oh, he's not. <gasps> I thought for sure he would have gone out to the Centurion. Wow, really? Does that mean we get the AC-10? Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get the AC-10 for that or not. All right, 207,000, that's pretty good. Yeah, the head hit, we got really lucky not getting killed by that. That was that auto, That was that uh, Ultra AC-10. No critical components damage anywhere, which is excellent. So salvage, good, good chances for Victor parts, man, that's awesome. So ER medium lasers, possibility, Haywire EMP is nice. Um, that's a possibility. We only got two pieces of salvage, so let's take the huge engine. I wonder if we should take the Guardian ECM for our Light Lance. That's a possibility too. We were getting hit a fair bit. I think that's what we'll do. Take the Guardian. And let's see what we get here out of these mech parts. Let's hope for a lot of Victor parts. Wow, no mech parts. Got the AC-20, ER Medium. No mech parts. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to be getting any more results from the map. 35,000. Not bad. 13 days for repairs. So let's see where we're at with these guys. Um. So we can be back in six day, seven days with these guys. So let's shift them down. And what we'll do is we'll get our light lance up and running. Yeah, I like that. And then light lance should be back very soon. We've got, yeah, just about five or six days of work to do. Warlock's out for six days, so it's going to be at least six days until they're back. So let's just advance that first. Okay, so that Lance is back. So let's have a look, first of all, for the store. Just concerned now that um, Rogue Tech has been updated for Flashpoint that we might not be getting anything in the store. So it definitely taking its time to reload. There's no equipment up here, unfortunately. So um, yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Well, not really so much of an issue, I guess. It just means that whatever we get, we're gonna have to collect off the battlefield. The ammo here, we can still get some stuff, which is okay. But uh, we're really just gonna have to get stuff off the battlefield. Um, we may get a few things in here, but it's highly unlikely, so it's all going to be battlefield stuff now. Let's quickly go to the, the star map here. Just want to see, I'm interested to see if anybody has still got the old version of Rogue Tech going. Probably not, it's probably just me. Yeah, I don't see anybody here on the map. Uh, but I don't think the map's being updated anyway, so even if there was people, I don't think it'll show up here. Yeah... Well, we're on our own with this with this series, but I'm still going to play and enjoy it uh, just until the new version of Rogue Tech gets smoothed out. So let's now look at the barracks. We'll have a look at our mech warriors. 
Just to, actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go with the bays because our mechs are going to take a little bit of time to, to uh, come back. So we got the spider. We got an issue with the spider now. So let's refit this guy. We lost a hand on the spider, and that's it. So let's just repair that. And I think we've got a hand in here, do we? Yeah, we do. So we can put that back in. Let's confirm that. It's only a couple of days. And then we got our urban map. We have to decide what we're going to do with this guy because we lost the whole side on this guy. And let's repair. Let's find out what we have for ballistics. So we lost those machine gun arrays. That really sucks. So we've got AC5+. Plus, which is, that's actually not bad. It just means that we have to be in close for it. Uh, LBX20. 12 tons. We don't really have the weight for that. We only got seven tons available, unfortunately. We got a regular machine gun array, six times ten damage. I mean, we could put both arrays in the arm. Uh, did I pick up a ballistic targeting system? We've already got that in there. I thought I had a ballistic arm mount, but I guess I don't in this guy. All right, so let's have a look at the weapons again. So we could go. We got one laser. And a whole bunch of hard points for machine guns and stuff. So the problem is, is he's, got, he's so slow getting in close, right? So machine gun arrays 220. But up to 60 damage in close. This light machine gun arrays range is 440. Plus one accuracy. It's only 40 damage though. So we could go with... What if we put the heavy PPC in this guy? I mean, we could pull out the machine gun array. Or maybe we just move the machine gun array to this arm. We don't need all this ammo. This is using what? 10 rounds per shot. So if we pull out the machine gun ammo, pull out the medium laser, drop the heavy PPC on this side, that's 30 tons. <laughs> So we need to, what's the, what's the heat sinking going on here? Alpha Strike is 62. How much heat does this thing put out? 14. 55. It's a little bit much, I think. If we had a double heat sink kit, it would definitely be worth it. Um, I still like the idea, though. We could put the snub nose on there, though. 65 damage fall off to 25% maximum though that's not really worth it you could just put a regular PPC in um, ballistic what if we go with the AC5 let's like if we take the heavy PPC out let's take the machine gun array just put it in here for now again put the AC5 in we need a ton of AC5 ammo and a ton of machine gun array ammo and then what's our heat sinking? It should be really good. So we should be able to, yeah, like that's really low in heat, right? So we could pull out a ton of heat sinks. What are, what's our ammo here? Let's go to uh, the store because there is machine gun precision ammo in the store. Yeah, the tracer ammo. So we're going to buy that. New equipment available. Okay, so now we've got the machine gun ammo. We can add that into here. Actually, let's put it in this leg. And then let's do... Oops, uh, we want to go here. And AC5. Was there AC5 precision ammo in the... Ah, I should have checked. I think there was. Half load. Precision, here we go. Okay, so we can put the precision ammo in for this as well. So that's kind of a bonus. So now we can pull out a few heat sinks here. Let's pull out maybe two. Actually, let's leave the ones in the legs, I think. And we could probably leave the medium laser on the arm. We're a ton over, so we can pull out one heat sink. Actually, let's move this onto this side. Um, what's our heat sinking now? 43 to 28. So let's pull out. We got. We picked up Guardian ECMs, so let's pull out, these are what, one and a half tons, I think? 
Yeah. So let's pull out um, the two heat sinks. Oh, wait a minute. We can't because there was a required. We have to have 12, right? All right, so we can pull out that one. So we're half a ton. Wow, look at that, eh? Heat sinking 40. Why do we have so much? Shouldn't it only be 30? Minus plus 10 maximum overheat. Minus 10% weapon heat generated. Plus 10 maximum heat. Okay. I'm um, not sure what's going on there. Let's do that. And that'll give us a quarter ton left over. And let's go... Something like that, I guess. I don't want to take off the back. It's just... Because this guy's so slow. Let's just... Ah, oh, the legs are bad too. Can't take the arms. I guess we take it out the CT. Go something like that. Like that. What's our heat efficiency at now? 40, 28. That's actually really good for this guy. So let's go this route, I think. Got a bit of range on him. 600 meters is not bad. Yeah, let's go that route. It's seven days though, but we knew it was going to take a while to get this guy fixed up. So the Panther, I think, performed okay. Four medium lasers and the SRM-4. And the Commando wasn't really working all that well with these small lasers, so let's refit it. And what do we got heat-wise? We're doing just okay, right? Yeah, just okay. So we got claws on it too. I mean, it was supposed to be a melee mech, kind of, but it wasn't really working out that way. Although we could go and put a hammer fist on this guy. It's four tons. Pull out two heat sinks, medium lasers, then it would be only melee. Fluid guns, what? One ton? Two tons? That's not good either. It's the weight of the engine that's killing us. We don't have anything else to drop in here. We do have the Guardian ECM, which is good already. Um, wonder if we just pull out the claws, maybe. That's one ton. We need to buy another hand, though. Um, yeah, I think that's what we do. Let's go buy another hand if there's one in here. There is. There's always hands. Okay, so let's have a look now. Put the hand in here. Let's go with our laser weapons. I mean, we could... These are a lot of heat, but we could run two of these guys. Let me see what we can do here. Let's pull out the smalls for a second. So we put two of these guys in. So we put one on each arm, let's say. And maybe an ER medium. We could put it on this side. It's one and a half tons left. It's still dropping our heat efficiency down. I mean, we could put another small and then or maybe we just go that route. What's our heat efficiency now? Still really lousy. I think we're better off maybe with like Yeah, I hesitate to pull hesitate to pull armor off this guy. Those smalls are basically operating like mediums, but they're doing... They weigh half as much and they're 16 heat, right? 
So, I mean, we could pull off... Put another medium on, and then maybe another small. So that's pretty darn good, I think. Let's just go this route. I mean, maybe we just put one of these guys in. It's a little bit overheating, but we can always cycle that small laser off if we had to. I just like the extra little bit of punchy damage for people that are in woods. Um, plus, it's got a better chance to hit too, right? So let's go that route on this guy and see how this runs for the next little bit. So let's confirm this. Okay, so those guys are getting prepared to be done. We got, what, a fair bit of time here, so let's move. There's not much we can do time-wise. That'll be seven days for these guys in total, and five days for these guys. So looks like we'll be pulling off another mission with our main lance first, and then the following episode will be the light lance. Um, no, patch around the problem, we need pylon, sorry. We need pylon. Okay, so that's that done. These will be done in seven days, they'll come in before the financial report. So we've got a chance to do two more missions before the financial report, that's awesome. So we're going to end the, oh, we're not going to end the episode here, we're going to have a look at the barracks first. Then we'll end the episode. So we can jump right into a fight next time. Okay, so we've got a chance to raise one of these skills up. I'm thinking probably, well, Centurion's really heat efficient. Minus 5% stability damage taken probably is a better choice. Now, I could save up for more tactics, but I think I want to go this route first. Mech warrior training complete. And then let's have a look at Pylon here. Yeah, we're still going up. We're still going to go for more gunnery or maybe more piloting. We'll see what we do here. Not sure yet. Uh, let's have a look at Hickory. Yep. Hickory's still gaining some abilities. Commander. Recoil. Um, let's get your tactics up, buddy. I want you to be able to spot mechs half decently, so let's do that. Training and then let's have a look at our other group here. So Havoc. Still waiting to get... Oh, almost got one of these guys. Uh, when their lance goes into battle, we'll have to check these guys again. Hogweed. Still waiting. Uh, Raider. Still waiting. And Warlock. Wow, you still don't even have enough for gunnery. That's crazy. Okay, well, that's no big deal. We can wait. Alright, so that will be the end of the episode for today. If you haven't checked out my channel, please go check out my channel. Check out my other series that I've got going on there. I've got a Rogue Tech. Rogue Tech. Um, or I, can, I call it a Rogue Point series. It's the new version of Rogue Tech with Flashpoint. And also a Battletech Flashpoint series going on. Check those out. And until next time, we'll see you all later.